Hey everyone, my name is Kaikun6 and I'm here to do a shopping finds video for you guys. This is going to be a relatively big video, so go ahead and get yourselves a drink, a snack, whatever you need because this will this will be a very long video. For the past, I want to see three, three, two, three weeks maybe, we were on the hunt for some of these items, sort of, and um, and we finally found one of them, for sure. And it was like our one of the closest targets that we have here where I'm living at. And um, I'm glad to find this item for sure, which I will be showing you guys in a bit. But uh, we were kind of disappointed that, yes, we did find one, but we were hoping for two. So that way one can go for my husband and the other one can go for me. But we'll see if we're going to be going to Target again this weekend. So that way um, we'll find it. And if we can't, then we'll just try until they can't restock it anymore. Who knows? I was thinking about seeing if I could find it online and then order it and then go pick it up at the store. But who knows? But um. But we'll see because this upcoming Friday is going to be my husband's birthday. He's going to be turning 33. And I don't know if he wants to like, you know, ride around or, you know, stay home. But for sure, he's going to be having a birthday dinner and everything else. So it just depends on how he feels. But we'll see. But anyway, um, I'm going to be showing you guys now the items. Um, but the first thing I will show you that we were very surprised about because... He found it on TikTok and I found it on like my personal Facebook and stuff, which is the, the the mini vending machine. And we were so happy when we saw this one like in person and then in the video, of course. And when we were looking at the video, like we saw like how they, you know, how they displayed it, how they washed it. They pulled the handle and then, of course, the, the candy will come out in this little tray right here, which is so cute. And um, but yeah. It was like in their bullseye spa. This one is five dollars, and I had to take off the wrapping for it. But, but yeah, so that way I can like immediately clean it once um, I'm done recording this video. But we were so happy we found this one. It was just so cute, and my husband said he wanted to fill it up with his favorite candy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to find some sort of candy that will fit into this little hole because when I was looking at the size of the hole in here, it looks like the size of like a dime or a nickel. So it's relatively small so i was like maybe m&ms the small kinds or the or skittles can go in here but who knows but i'll figure it out for sure but um for sure this is gonna be going to my husband once i have it cleaned up so there you go that was the item that we were very happy to find but sadly we only found one of them so but anyway let's move on to the next item i found at target and this one to me was a bonus item because i had no idea that their fall stuff was coming in and especially with how popular now um you know the decor is going right now but it's this uh pumpkin beverage dispenser and um yeah like i'll just show you guys the tag on there but yeah it was five dollars also and it is plastic which i'm very happy about because if it was glass i'm gonna be disappointed because we um because Whenever I drive or when my husband drives, usually glass items don't last that long. And we're very careful drivers. It's just sometimes the glass, maybe he, maybe it's just here in Texas, is very, very sensitive. And even the slightest bump can, can like shatter it. So I don't know. So whatever we try to find some glass items, we try to make sure they're like the thickest quality and stuff like that. So that way um, they will last longer <laughs> for sure. And I'll be showing you guys a couple of glass items in there too. Um, but yeah, I was so happy to find this one and for sure I wanted to fill it up with like one of my favorite drinks in here hopefully and then um, Hopefully start using our dispensers again because it is getting really warm here in Texas. I think we already hit, hit like um, A record here where I live at it's already over a hundred degrees and it's just it's just it's been nuts And I'm over here like wearing my my butterfly kimono that I have gotten from the shabby tree boutique so it's just strange. I'm also wearing something else from the Shabby Tree Boutique. I just don't remember the names of them, but these are tiered. Like this one's a tiered uh, shirt and this one's the kimono and, and they have very lovely clothes on that website and stuff like that. So, and it has been a while since I've shopped in there because um, lately I've been like looking for clothes somewhere else and I haven't found anything that could like catch my eye other than, you know, these items and some other ones. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll be able to fill it up with lemonade and water and who knows because I was gonna do like a really weird like pumpkin type of drink in here 
but I gotta go figure out how to find the recipe for it and how's it gonna work but yeah but the last time that I'm gonna show you guys that I have found at Target and I think I remember I told you guys before where I was trying to look for the paint brushes where I was gonna start using them for Mod Podge and the only ones I ever found was that one time in Dollar Tree and then they didn't have it no more I don't know what happened but they didn't have it no more and I've had asked uh, multiple times to other employees saying that they were going to be coming in with a truck and whenever they did came in with a truck I will try to look for these paint brushes couldn't find them and I just said okay the heck with it I don't think it's ever going to come in and if they do I could always um buy it and stuff like that so I went with the next thing that I thought it was pretty logical at the time and what are and and there's like these uh paint brushes they're artist brushes or something like that but they're from the brand called um mondo llama and and they're like in the little craft uh kids craft section in there and it's like six brushes um it says it's for acrylic tempera and more synthetic bristles and that was the only thing i liked about them was because of how thick these um brushes were and um and i thought this would be perfect for like mod podging and stuff like that so that's why i got them and i think they were like five dollars i think i don't see the price on them but i remember it was like around that price or somewhere close to it at least but i remember was uh seeing them and i'm like i'm gonna get them for sure but yeah that's the last item i have gotten from target I think the next one so I'm going to be showing you guys is whatever is in this box right here, which is my Lego classic ones. And like I said, I'm going to start using that box just to put like my shopping finds in there and stuff like that. So, um, I wonder what I have in here. Hold on. Uh, oh, there's the glass items. And I think that's what I'm going to show you guys first. Um, there was this, um, like idea I had, I think it was like last year or something where I wanted to do something for my mom. And I wanted her to have like, like a centerpiece or something like kind of like an everyday decor thing where she'll change it out and stuff. And I wanted to include it with these uh, dairy, you know, with the little count on here, glass bottles that you can find at Hobby Lobby. And there's a tag for them. Um, yeah, and it's $2.49, but I have gotten them on a 50% off uh, sale on that week. So it was like $1.24. I have found all three bottles of it. And I already have another fourth bottle for it, but now I finally found three. And, oops, my bad. Like, I <laughs> I just moved you guys a little bit. I'm so sorry. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, I was, like, on the hunt for these bottles. I could only find one in one of my shopping finds videos. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go see if I can find a, more of them. And I did. And uh, I was so glad to find them so that now I could actually do this idea where, um, you know, like my my mom, I don't think she ever grew up in that era or when she first came to the United States where um, she had like the whole like milkman experience where like a man dressed up like in, in a white uniform with a little, you know, cap or something like that. And then they go to like uh, houses. It was like a milk subscription thing at the time where they give you like a small bottle or one of those big bottles full of milk and they come like once a week to give you like maybe one or two bottles of milk and that should last you for the week or something. But, um, but I have seen like TV shows and movies that do that all the time. I never grew up with stuff like that, but we have done the... Uh, what was that brand? It was for water. Sparklets. There you go. Sparklets, but not no more. <laughs> it got too expensive. And then plus, like, during the winter, it was like me and my sister and my brother, we were like spoiled with like other drinks. So we never like drank water that often in winter. All we wanted was like hot chocolate, like um, oatmeal and some other warm food slash drinks and stuff so we rarely drank any water but we only drank during the summer so my mom thought no that's not worth it but anyway um I thought it was gonna be a cute idea so I can do like sort of like a crate idea where she can use it for like everyday decor for her table or something and it'll include these milk bottles so I finally found all four of them for this crate so hopefully it'll be enough so <laughs> um let's see the next item I'm gonna be showing you guys I was very surprised that I found these because I don't even know if they were gonna have it in this particular time of the week or not. But what I have gotten is like these two sets of like wooden bead garlands. 
and the idea that I had for them not just because of decor was because I wanted to start using them for um you know for the for the beehive idea I have you know like I wanted to put wooden bees and then fabric on them and stuff like that um and I told you guys before I was gonna do like some sort of experiment with like six of these and see if they look good or is it gonna look good with like this lighter color of wood or like this darker one this one looks a little bit more stained so I went with both of them and there are the tags for both of them and um I got them on a sale because they were having it on sale this was 40% off and I think it was like three dollars and 59 cents each so it was it was perfect for me and they're pretty long too um like a six inch uh well six foot sorry they're each one is like six uh foot of garland and i thought it was perfect enough beads so i can start doing something with it um and the last item i'm going to show you guys from hobby lobby which this was like a very surprise also because we were like thinking about getting some different spoon rests for like whenever i have to cook or when my husband has to cook and um we found this and it's so cute because we love mushrooms and um and what i liked about it was not only because it was like 40 or 50 percent off sale i think he only paid like maybe two or three dollars for this but um it is dishwasher safe food safe and well it's not microwave safe but it don't matter i don't put any of my spoon rests in the microwave anyway but i do put a lot of my stuff in dishwash in my dishwasher so i was like this is gonna be perfect to use especially it's really wide and a lot of our spatulas and spoons are pretty wide so i thought these were gonna be perfect or at least this one and we wanted to test it out to see if we really like it or not because like we we have a lot of like really long spoons and long spatulas and definitely wide ones and I thought maybe this would be perfect just to set uh, our spoons or spatulas on here. So hopefully it'll fit, but, but yeah. And I think that's the last thing I have uh, f um, found at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I have gotten at uh, Dollar Tree. I have seen these for a very long time for sure like um i know mod posh is getting really popular now since people have been getting into like mod podging napkins fabric and and vellum paper and some other stuff onto like um surfaces and stuff but i've never really actually like have gotten like mod podge before all i've done was like my very own which is like you get elmer's glue and put a little bit of water in there and then just swirl it around and then use it and it has worked and but um at the time i'm still doing like one of my friend's birthday gifts for a mod podge idea for paper and i could not find glue f whatsoever and i keep forgetting that not that long ago it was like a back to school uh thing for kids and so they had bought like all these school supplies including glue and it was gone and so i thought okay well this is going to be a perfect opportunity for me to try uh mod podge in in these bottles so hopefully like I like them and I'll enjoy them and this one's the matte one and then this one's the gloss one so I'm gonna be trying out both of them I'm gonna do like one cover of it or like one area where it's gonna be the matte one and another one's gonna be the gloss and see which one I like the most and so um, yeah so I'm gonna probably get back to you guys on that one for sure so hopefully I'll be able to tell you like yeah I like the matte more or the gloss more if not I'll end up liking both of them so bear with me in a future crafting video so hopefully I'll be able to do that so and the last two items from Dollar Tree that I have found are these gift tissues and of course what I liked about this one was because of the butterfly and this one has the animal print on here but these are very very pretty um of course i was going to use them for a mod podge idea but it was mainly like i wanted to use the extra colors or something for the paper for like you know for packaging my items for my buyers for mercari and so hopefully i'll have enough because uh, i'm not running out or anything like that but i do like to stock up once in a while just to like see what um colors can combine with the items that they have bought and then it'll look color coordinated that type of thing but who knows but i have really liked them and i'm trying to put all the stuff back before i forget and either way i'm gonna still clean up anyway so there you go and then so now i think the last thing i'm gonna be showing you guys i did put it all in this um egg box but yeah um i buy my eggs in like the box form at walmart 
and um and they're like 60 eggs or it says like five dozen eggs or something like that but yeah we buy our eggs a lot and since we have like a egg holder now that actually holds 60 eggs thanks to my friend and um so we've been using it like every day so <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna be showing you guys what i have found at walmart and it's mainly just clothes and hopefully i'll be able to show it off but i have washed them so a little bit has my hair on here for sure yeah there still has some hair on there but i did wash them ahead so that way i can just show you guys what it looks like and stuff like already um after wash pre-wash not really because most of the time i'm like i'm not gonna try any of these clothes on if they're not have been uh washed so and the first thing that i'm gonna be showing you guys my husband found this for me and i was like on the verge like should i get it should i not but i was just gonna say whatever i'm gonna go uh try it out but it is a hello kitty shirt and i do like hello kitty a lot a lot of sanrio stuff too like my favorite character on for Sanrio is Kuropi, which is the little green frog on there. But yeah, um, I had to go get this in the biggest size that they have, which is a 3XL, so I can just show you guys the tag. And I remember like trying to like put it over myself like this, and I was just like, it's gonna be a little bit tight, but I know with over time with me wearing it and then washing it often, it's gonna stretch out and hopefully it'll fit me and stuff like that. And I still have a lot of hair on here. So I thought this was really cute. I think this one was like $8.98, I think. I know it's a little bit pricey, but I have found that like now my local thrift stores and some that are very far away from me, they have raised the prices for them. So if you ever find like a shirt like this and it's not, and it's like a little bit more than the retail price, it's not worth it. Because I have found shirts that were like, uh what was it like maybe five six dollars at walmart or just anywhere they sell clothes and and then when i went to a thrift store that had them for like 6.99 7.99 i thought that was ridiculous i don't think i'm gonna be going to that thrift store anytime soon unless they're gonna have like a coupon day or they have sales for certain things and so um usually i will go to goodwill and see what i can find on there and if it's like a a tag a color that that will represent like an item that i like then maybe so that way they can give me at least 20 to 30 percent off but yeah <coughs> excuse me <laughs> um the next thing i'm gonna be showing you guys is um oh this one was like an example for sure because i remembered i was looking through all of these and i was like oh i'm gonna be showing you guys so recently we've been seeing a lot of like looney tunes mainly like bugs bunny type of stuff and i wanted to show you guys this one i think i don't remember if this was at walmart or not it could have been family dollar or dollar general but i remember finding this and i have worn this already like i don't know how many times now and i was going to show you guys like they have like different varieties when it comes to bugs bunny and I like that one a lot. And then um, my husband found this just the other week. And this one was also from Looney Tunes. And of course, this one's a size 2XL. So it was like big enough for me. This one was a 3XL. But yeah, I, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. But like, but it's like a Bugs Bunny as Batman. And then the back of the shirt is Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman. And I thought that was really cute. My, like I said, my husband found it and he thought, oh my goodness, why do women always have better clothes than men? Like, I would love to wear that shirt. And I just said, I know, it's 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 really weird. And he was like, well, um, hopefully you'll be wearing this. And I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> the, next time, the next time I'll be showing you guys, I'm trying to get this through really quickly because I only got like a couple more items to sh uh, share with you guys. And then I'm going to be showing you guys like a, a sneak peek of a crafting project I've been working on. And hopefully I'll be able to upload it uh, next week. But um, this one was very, very hard to wash because of all the glitter that was on here. But my husband already has a different type of shirt from Walmart. And then when we found this one also at Walmart, he was so happy to get it. And this was only like $12. Um, this one was also like $8.98, I think. It might have been on sale too, so who knows. But, but yeah, this one's like a biggie small shirt. I don't know if I can put it all on camera or not, but but yeah. And it's like a lot of glitter where it says biggie on here. So a lot of it has fallen out. 
and and this is like one of those shirts that I know he's not going to be wearing that often not because of the glitter was because he rarely sees anything that's like Biggie Smalls related um stuff so yeah <laughs> uh let me start putting all these clothes back in the box I'm sorry you guys because I gotta have everything organized now I've been creating messes and I've been trying to clean up and everything so the last two items I'm going to be showing you guys, I don't know if I've ever shown this in a like a previous shopping finds video, but I just remember I was supposed to show it off in a previous one, but I never did. But um, I love tiered shirts. And what I mean is like layered shirts. And I'm going to be showing you guys an example. Like I am wearing one, but I don't want to show it all off on camera. But it's like this time and true um, brand of like this uh shirt it kind of looks like a baby doll dress and stuff and you know you can see the layers on there but um i have found it in this color and i thought this was like a really nice color there are other ones for sure and i wanted to go get this one because it has pockets and anything that has a shirt or a dress that has pockets in there i'm all for it because I, i'm always carrying stuff in my hands i could carry my phone my keys sometimes even my wallet but most of the time i'm always carrying a um like a purse anyway so and I really like tier dresses or tier shirts and I have a lot of them and and not only that like that one my husband bought and that was on sale I think it was like um I want to say eight dollars ten dollars probably I don't know it's, it's been a, a while since he got that for me but this one was just this past week and this one is from Terra and Sky which is like a 1x this one was like a 3x for this one and um and I thought this was really cute because I really like the color of blue on this one and it's like a tank top tear dress also and it also has uh pockets in them and this one was on sale too this one was like ten dollars even though it's a little bit pricier but I felt like even if I went to a thrift store and try to find something similar to this, I would still be paying the same price. And, you know, this one's like, a little, like this one's like pre-washed and everything, even though I did wash this already. But like, I wanted to wear it and see like how it fits on me. And then that way, who knows, maybe I'll just show it off in a, another different uh, video, just me wearing it or something. Or if not, it's just going to have it around the house and stuff like that. So that's basically much it that i'm gonna be showing you guys with shopping finds yeah so it's like a lot to show off this time because i did want to go shopping these past two three weeks and and i was like debating when i was gonna upload this <laughs> this video because it was gonna be a very long one for sure and then um then i'm gonna be showing you guys uh, the this little craft project that i've been I, I have worked on on monday of this week where i um no, I think it was like last week, I think. But um, I wanted to start doing like either cleaning or crafting projects since I am done with writing for the meantime because I really do need a break. And on top of that, my brain is already giving me a break anyway. So I wanted to work on some craft projects and I thought this one was very simple and easy to do with you guys. So I'm gonna be showing it off and it's like a decorative uh, candle holder. And um and all it has is like this little mini pine cones, this like tray here, this wine glass, and then the silver bowl. And I thought, well, it'd be perfect to put a candle on here or if not poopery and stuff like that, which I am going to do. So this is going to be somehow displayed somewhere around my house. But yeah, that's like the little sneak peek I want to give you guys. So hopefully next week I'll show you guys how did I make this because it's literally simple and easy. And you probably already have the items on hand, especially if you've been like Dollar Tree shopping like I have and you're a crafter yourself. So maybe you have some sort of items that are like this or similar to these so anyway I'm gonna end the video here I'm gonna go clean up again and I made a mess again for sure because I have all these items sporadically everywhere and on top of that um I need to go work on more craft projects because I really do want to do the beehive ideas so give me some time to see if I'm gonna be working with these beads or whatever beads that I have gotten from Hobby Lobby so so yeah so Hopefully you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and I'll see you guys next week. All right. Bye everyone.